Hi guys, welcome back to All Media Services. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the range uh, option on your Starlink app. So placing your router is critical uh, to the health of your network. If your router is not in a very great area or if your house is really large, then you might have to boost it up. But there is a tool inside the app that's called the range tool. We're gonna to go through a quick walkthrough and show you exactly how it's used and how it can benefit you in your home network. Hello, my internet's not working. Maybe it's a router problem. Let's take a look. Go to your phone on the screen there. You're gonna see range right in the center. We're gonna push that. It's now gonna ask you to use your video camera. So only if you're comfortable letting Elon Musk look all throughout your house do you accept this. I push I'm ready and right away it's gonna come up with a little grid. It's green, of course, because I'm very close to this router. But you see here, we have a brick wall. So this is gonna be a bit of a nemesis because we're going right through uh, this brick wall into the other part of this home. Now we have all this area back in here that's, that's really clear. We got a great shot to the router. This is perhaps one of the more used areas for when people are coming over and using their phone. On my meter here, as I'm walking, you need to make sure to go kind of slow your pace down. I'm going a bit quick right now, but you'll see the green links uh, lighting up. Those are a sign that you've got great Wi-Fi signal. So let's traverse over onto the other side of the home and see what we get there. So we've now stepped over across on the other side of the home and you'll see the brick wall now has created a bit of a barrier for us there. We've now got red showing on our signal. But here's another very important thing. Don't stand between the router and your meter. It will play with your phone's readings. So let's just jump over to the kitchen and see. You can see how close we are to this router. Right? Look how red our signals are even sitting there. So this is a real problematic situation. We'll go a little bit further back into the rooms and we'll see what kind of signals we're getting in some other areas of the home. <laughs> right, we're all the way into the back of the house. You can see we are now in the dark red. There is very little signal to be had here. So if you're gonna want that starting booster to work, over here, we have to either reposition that router or we've got to take a look and put a booster in here, which is probably what we'll end up doing. So we've come all the way to the front, back to the front side of the house. We're closer to the router. We've now walked all the way over to the uh, master suite bedroom and the master bedroom here. And you can see our signals are pretty bad there. So having a brick wall running through the center of your home is gonna definitely cause a little bit of issues, but you have to pick your choice here. Where do you want your Wi-Fi on? Which side of that wall? Because once you get through that wall, you're gonna degrade a lot of your signal. Now, just because it is red and yellow in here doesn't mean it's not gonna work. You might still have great signals. So now the real question is, after walking through the house and seeing where the red is on our Wi-Fi scanner, the range tester, we can take this router and try to move it to another area. Now, sometimes there's a challenge with that and it's gonna be not so easy. So then you might look at getting a booster. The other question is, is how bad is that internet signal when it is in the red? So, you know, you're still getting internet in those dark red areas. So the real question is, is it, is it working strong enough for you to continue to use. So the Wi-Fi testing tool, range tool, is a great uh, tool to use, especially when you're setting up, but it's not the do-all and end-all of everything. You know, don't get too worried about a little bit of red here and there, you might not be able to prevent it. Now, if you've been enjoying these videos, make sure to give us a like and subscribe. Also, 
head over to our website, www.Starlink Community Forums, and join in the conversation there with hundreds of other Starlink users learning about their systems together. Thanks, guys.